Hello guys and welcome back to The Sib. This should be a fantastic day. I've got lots planned, especially something on the bulkhead that I've been waiting for for ages, and that is the jump seat cushions, which should make a huge difference to how the rear bulkhead looks. And they should go in this area here. I'll quickly show you next door where all the 3D printed parts have been printing over the last two weeks, and hopefully we'll get some of those fitted as well. I just want to see how much we can get done in a single day because all it is is just bolting things together. Let's see how we get on. And down here on this table are all the 3D printed parts hopefully that we can get fitted. And here we have the pedestal panels and the aft overhead to be fitted sometime later in the week. Let's head back to the sim and fit the cushions. The first cushion is for the base. It has got Velcro that I can attach, but as this fits quite snugly, and it's not flying, it shouldn't move. And the last cushion. That's actually quite comfortable. Next up, I think we'll concentrate on the dome light that fits in the captain side bulkhead. And that's this shape here. And that's available on the website. And it, it was made specifically for these Philips 20 watt LED bulbs. What I realized when I was shopping in the supermarket was that the bit I need is this bit here and it's just a dome opaque light. So when I got home, I measured it up and then printed a base for the dome light here. And that hopefully just clicks into the base and we have our dome light. That part then fits on to the rear base and that gets fitted to the rear bulkhead. With the remainder of the bulb that's left, I looked inside and realized perhaps we can use the LED base. It is rated for 240 volts, but if we slice these down into sections of four and hardwire left and right, perhaps we can use that for the SIM running off 12 volts. Head out to the workshop and give it a go. Let's take these screws out and have a look to see what's behind it. I'm just putting some gloves on so I don't get the heat compound on my fingers and then I'm gonna pry open the face panel like so. Now if you can just see down the center with the two wires, I'm going to try and cut them off. Done. That leaves a rather fantastic metal heat sink. And then we've got our LED board. Give me two secs while I clear all this gunk off. And looking at the traces on the board, it goes from the positive wire here to this LED, to this LED, around to this one, and to this one. So if we break the track in between here and solder a wire onto here and then test between here and here and see if it will light, and that will do nicely I think. Now these are actually really quite hard to solder on because the back is acting like a giant heat sink and taking the heat away from the solder tip. But that feels quite firm. Let's give it a quick test with 12 volts. That works perfect. So what we'll do is we'll do another four over here and another four at 120 degrees apart so it spreads the light nice and equal. There's the LEDs wired up. I'm going to put the positive on, hold the negative on, apply 12 volts and it works. Okay. 
pull the lid off, thread the wires through, and oh. Okay, so I come across a little problem, and that is the board is too big to fit in the 3D printed part. So I'll quickly sand down the edges and see what happens. And there we have it. It fits really nicely in. A bit, oh, actually, a bit snug. We're back inside. I've just added some extra wires on for a bit of length. Here's the base. In fact, I better thread the wires through the base first to make it easier to get hold of. And into the bulkhead. Now, there are two holes here pre drilled to help me locate it. That feels good. I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's try it out. And how does that look? I guess now that that one's fitted, we best fit this one. And that goes to the first officer's bulkhead right there. With the dome lights done, let's do the install hat clips. I'll go and get them from the 3D printed table and I'll be back in a second. We're back in the workshop. Here's all the parts for the install hat clips. I've just got to remove the rollers from the printed background. As you can see, it leaves quite a bit of a, a rough edge. So I have to get a file on it. So I think we'll start off by putting the rollers in the arms. Well, that was nice and easy. What should we do next? Next up, we've got the window handle and window handle plate. It's 3D printed for the time being. I will come back and make it from metal when I get back to work. But for the time being, let's add these to the cockpit. With the handle fitted, it's time to put the glass back in. And the last part for this video, I think we'll do the tiller arm. It's 3D printed. It's not operational yet. I'll do that in a later video. For the time being, I'm just using a six mil bolt to go into the sidewall arm, like so. I'll go around the other side and put the nut on. I've tightened the nut up behind it. It's still a bit loose, so let's see if I can tighten it up a bit tighter, just so it stays in position when you leave it. That's much better. It's a lot stiffer, and it at least looks the part for the time being. That's the end for this episode, and it's also the end of the day for me. I'm gonna go and chill out for a couple of hours until tomorrow, where we can start it all over again. I'll catch you later guys, sim out.